लेट सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट आई होप यू मस्ट हैव सीन माई लेक्चर वीडियो ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक सो वेयर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड डिफरेंट रूल फॉर फाइंडिंग कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन एंड पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल सो लेट स्टार्ट द प्रोसीडिंग्स है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन सो कन्वर्ट इट फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्म टू डी फॉर्म so i can write this as d2 minus 4 y equals to x square plus 2x now find the auxiliary equation for that convert it from d to m so m square minus 4 equate it to 0 so m square equals to 4 m equals to plus minus 2 now we can easily write the complementary function because they are real and distinct as c1 e power positive 2x plus c2 e power negative 2x okay now moving ahead with the particular integral which is the interesting part so it will be 1 upon f of d which is d square minus 4 either you may uh, apply the formula on x square plus 2x or x square individually and 2x individually it doesn't matter ek bar mein hi x square plus 2x ka formula laga de ya fir x square pe alag 2x pe alag kyunki at the end of the day hame differentiation hi karna hai to hum alag alag hi kar lete hain filhal x square and 1 upon d square minus 4 operating on 2x you would have taken 2 out also now what is the rule what does the rule say take the lowest degree term common so 1 upon if i take minus 4 common i will be left with 1 here and minus d square by 4 here operating on x square and if i take 2 out from here Uh, the same thing will happen here also minus 4 1 minus d square by 4 operating on x now uh send this to the numerator in both the cases so minus 1 by 4 if i send this to numerator 1 minus d square by 4 raised to power minus 1 operating on x square plus 2 times uh 2 by minus 4 is minus 1 by 2 and uh, 1 minus d square by 4 raised to power minus 1 operating on x 1 minus x raised to power minus 1 so in case we have two formula 1 minus x raised to power minus 1 1 plus x raised to power minus 1 in case we have minus sign it will be plus throughout so 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube so on in case i have plus in the middle i will have alternate plus minus signs so on so take this in mind so i have 1 minus x raised to power minus so i will use the first formula where i have all positive and x power is increasing so it will be minus 1 by 4 uh, all positive that means uh, 1 plus x so plus x plus x square so plus d power 4 dividing by 16 now i don't need to go further because the second derivative of x, first derivative is 2x second derivative is 2 third derivative is zero so even uh, d raised to power 4 was also not needed uh, but i have written operating on x square minus 1 by 2 again the same thing here first derivative is 1 and second derivative is zero so 1 plus d square by 4 no need to write the further terms operating on x so minus 1 by 4 multiply inside so x square plus second derivative first derivative 2x second derivative 2 2 by 4 1 by 
no need to find this because you know third derivative is zero to fourth and all the further derivative will be zero so zero plus zero single zero right okay then minus one by two x into one is x second derivative you know first derivative is one second derivative zero so zero now this is uh, minus x square by four minus one by eight minus x by two this is the particular integral so y finally is cf plus your pi what was my cf c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power minus 2x plus your pi so i will write this minus x square by 4 this is your final answer calculation was as always smooth finding the complementary function then particular integral and applying the rule for x raised to power n okay either you apply on x square plus 2x at the same time or you uh, distribute it into two terms uh, no problem whatsoever because at the end of the day you have to differentiate only and this thing is uh, will be common because uh, you see denominator is common in both the case so you may club both the terms 